I was born just a couple miles south where my folks lived. I've been here my whole life. My dad didn't like farming all that much. We were more cattle oriented. And he was always kind of cussing some of the ground we farmed. It was pretty marginal land and said this should be sowed down. We got three great kids. We've tried to raise them to uh, appreciate the land, appreciate what we, what we have, what, what God has given us, and to really work hard for everything that they have. It's not about how many cows you can graze on an acre of ground. It's more about the health of the grass, the health of the soil, the sustainability of our resources. Over the years, we've become more and more focused on that, and that's really helped us to improve our operation, to improve our bottom line. The health of our grassland is what enables us to produce the pounds of beef that we produce. We have different fenced-in areas for our cattle. We let them graze in a certain area. We know when to take it out by a measurement of the grass. So we'll move our cattle, just open a gate, and move them 100 yards to another area. That'll allow this grass that we were just on to regrow, get a better root system. It'll allow maybe some other varieties of good grass or forbs or legumes to establish. That's the concept behind rotational grazing. Some of the management that we've done has brought back our native plant community. You know, some early spring grazing on some land that we didn't even realize had much of a native population anymore. Now, later on in the summer, is showing those natives, it's showing the native forbs coming back. Just the timing of our grazing has really made a difference. The loss of our native grasslands really impacts us on a global scale. It maybe isn't as headline news as the loss of the rainforest, for example, but it, it's as impactful. The breaking of land in the Dakotas alone has skyrocketed in the past couple of years due to some of the crop commodity prices. We need to remember that this land was native grassland when we first inhabited it. That serves a huge purpose in our global ecosystem. We need to keep that in mind when we are talking about feeding the world, but also maintaining those native grasslands. They're so important. Well, I'm really hoping in future generations that we will have done our job to give them more than what we started with. It'd be fun for my grandkids later on down the road to have good land and soil and water, and I guess that's my main goal.